Sean, this fire at 283 Greenville Street has been under control for a while. You take a live look at the scene here. You can see firefighters. What they're doing right now is trying to figure out where this fire started. They believe it started in the right corner of this uh, home, but at this point, they're not sure. That's one thing their investigation will uh, attempt to determine. Now, we do have some pictures that were taken by the deputy fire chief here. This will give you an idea of what firefighters had when they arrived here on Greenville Road shortly after 3 o'clock this morning. The deputy chief says that the house was fully involved. Uh, what we had was the front of the house was fully involved. Uh, we made sure that the occupants, it was a little unconcerning if the occupants were out. We did make confirmation in about 10 minutes that the occupants were out of the structure. Did you have to do a primary search or was that possible? Or was that, that was not possible at that time. There was just way too much fire. So. Now, the firefighters were eventually able to mount an interior attack from the rear of the home as you take a live look at the scene once again here. There are two dogs missing. Uh, the fire deputy fire chief says at this point they have not found those two dogs, but there is the possibility that they ran off into the woods. The four people who were home at the time of the fire, two adults, two uh, teenagers, well, they drove themselves to the hospital. No word yet on uh, what the extent of their injuries might be. The fire chief here in New Ipswich has spoken to them, but at that point they weren't able to give her an idea of where this fire might have started or how. Reporting live in New Ipswich, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.